The Winnipeg Jets are a professional ice hockey team based in Winnipeg, Manitoba. They are members of the Central Division of the Western Conference of the National Hockey League (NHL). The team is owned by True North Sports and Entertainment and plays its home games at Bell MTS Place. The Jets began play as the Atlanta Thrashers in the 1999–2000 NHL season. True North Sports and Entertainment then bought the team in May 2011 and relocated the franchise from Atlanta to Winnipeg prior to the 2011–12 season the first NHL franchise to relocate since the Hartford Whalers became the Carolina Hurricanes in 1997. The team was renamed the Jets after Winnipeg's original WA, NHL team, which relocated after the 1995–96 season to become the Arizona Coyotes. History Original Winnipeg Jets 1972 to 1996 On December 27, 1971, Winnipeg was granted one of the founding franchises in the World Hockey Association WA by 1979, the vast majority of the WHA's teams had folded, but the Jets were still going strong and they were absorbed into the NHL along with the Quebec Nordics, Edmonton Oilers and Hartford Whalers as part of the WAR NHL merger. Team owner Barry Schenkaro sold the team to American businessmen Stephen Gluckston and Richard Burke. Burke and Gluckston originally planned to move the team to Minnesota which had lost the North Stars to Dallas in 1993, but eventually reached an agreement with Phoenix businessman Jerry Colangelo that would see the team move to Arizona and become the Phoenix Coyotes. The original Winnipeg Jets played their last game on April 28, 1996. Topic: Atlanta Thrashers, 1999 to 2011. The city of Atlanta was awarded an NHL expansion franchise named the Atlanta Thrashers on June 25, 1997. It was the second NHL franchise for Atlanta the first being the Atlanta Flames, established in 1972, who departed for Calgary in 1980 to become the Calgary Flames. The Thrashers began play in the 1999–2000 season. In their 12 years, the Thrashers qualified for the Stanley Cup playoffs only once, during the 2006–07 season, and never won a playoff game. Partially due to their lack of playoff success, the team had difficulty drawing fans to attend their games in their final seasons. Topic Winnipeg Jets 2011 present Although they moved for financial reasons, the Coyotes have never been profitable in Arizona. Mounting losses eventually compelled the franchise to file for bankruptcy after the 2008–09 season. The team was taken over by the league before the next season began. As early as October 2009, there were rumors that True North Sports and Entertainment, the company that owns both Winnipeg's Bell MTS Place then known as MTS Center and the American Hockey League AHL's Manitoba Moose and is chaired by Mark Chipman, had been invited to bid on the city's former franchise. 
TNSE submitted a series of bids for the Coyotes, which were taken seriously enough that the league drew up a tentative schedule with Winnipeg in place of Phoenix. The NHL shelved the bid after securing a large subsidy from the Coyotes municipal government. In contrast to aggressive, public bids by Jim Balsilli who had unsuccessfully attempted to use bankruptcy laws to skirt NHL rules and move the Coyotes to Hamilton, True North's Loki approach was praised by NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman and other owners, raising their profile when the question of the Thrashers' relocation came up. On May 20, 2011, the Winnipeg Sun confirmed that an agreement in principle had been reached for True North to purchase the Thrashers, while Winnipeg Mayor Sam Katz announced that he was confident that the Thrashers' relocation to Winnipeg would soon be officially announced. On May 31, 2011, at a press conference at the MTS Center, Bettman confirmed that the Atlanta Thrashers had been sold to True North and would relocate to Winnipeg for the 2011–12 season, pending the approval of the sale and relocation by the NHL's Board of Governors, which came at the June 21, 2011, meeting. The reported purchase price was $170 million, with $60 million going to the NHL as a relocation fee. After the announcement, True North made preparations to move the Moose franchise to St. John's, Newfoundland, and Labrador. Season ticket sales began June 1, 2011, with Manitoba Moose season ticket holders having priority. The team sought to sell 13,000 season tickets in an effort to prove its viability. Within the first three and a half hours, the new franchise sold 1,870 packages to Moose season ticket holders. Season tickets opened to the general public on June 4 and sold out in 17 minutes. Once the drive to 13,000 was completed, True North started a season ticket waiting list, which was shut down after 8,000 people signed up in two hours. In July 2011, tickets for October 9th home opener against the Montreal Canadiens were listed for an average price of $1,711 on StubHub, with an average selling price of $713. True North said the team's name would not be announced until after the successful completion of the season ticket drive at the earliest. The team was not to be named the Thrashers, since True North did not acquire the name in the transaction, and the rights to that name and the Thrashers logo were retained by the ownership group in Atlanta. There was considerable support in Winnipeg to reuse Winnipeg Jets, the name of the city's original WAR and NHL franchise, though rumors spread that True North preferred Manitoba Moose. Whiteout and Falcons were also considered, but the latter was quickly rejected in deference to Atlanta, which has another professional sports team by that name. True North kept their selection secret until the 2011 NHL entry draft in St. Paul, Minnesota, on June 24, when Chipman introduced general manager Kevin Cheveldayoff to make our first pick, on behalf of the Winnipeg Jets. Before the franchise relocation was officially completed, True North bought out the remaining years of general manager Rick Dudley's contract on June 4, 2011. Thrasher's president Don Waddell, who had been with the franchise since its inception, had earlier announced he would not be moving with the team. 
Kevin Cheveldayoff, a former GM of the Chicago Wolves and former assistant GM of the Chicago Blackhawks, was hired to replace Dudley four days later. The team also retained Marcel Cummo, the director of amateur scouting. On June 12, 2011, Chevelle Dayoff had Thrash's head coach Craig Ramsey re-interview for his position, then formally dismissed him as head coach eight days later. Claude Knoll, who had been the head coach of the Manitoba Moose, was named head coach four days later. The other finalist for the job had been Chicago Blackhawks assistant coach Mike Haviland. Charlie Huddy, Pascal Vincent and Wade Flaherty, formerly of the Dallas Stars and Blackhawks, were named Knoll's assistant coaches. The Jets made their formal regular season debut on October 9, 2011, when a sellout crowd at the MTS Center saw the visiting Montreal Canadiens defeat the Jets 5–1, with Nick Antropov scoring the first ever Jets goal. This debut featured a concert by Barkman Turner Overdrive where Randy Barkman sang, We Just Got Back the Jets in place of the title refrain of, "'You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet'". Other highlights on the first Jets schedule included a home-and-home -home set with the Phoenix Coyotes, Winnipeg's previous NHL franchise including a December 1 game in Winnipeg, the Coyotes' first regular season appearance in Winnipeg since vacating the city, as well as a December 17 home game against the Anaheim Ducks, which was former Jet Timu Solana's first playing appearance in Winnipeg since being traded from the Jets in February 1996. During the summer of 2012, the Jets added Perry Pern to their coaching staff. They also named former Thrasher assistant general manager Larry Simmons as assistant general manager. As the Jets inherited the Thrasher's position in the Southeast Division since the 2011–12 season, the NHL and National Hockey League Players Association NHLPA were prompted to consider realignment of teams. Beginning in 2013–14, the Jets moved to the Western Conference and play in the New Look, seven-team Central Division. The Jets fired Noel and Pern in January 2014, with the former being replaced by veteran coach Paul Morris. On April 9, 2015, the Jets clinched their first Stanley Cup playoff appearance since relocating to Winnipeg following a 1–0 shootout loss to the Colorado Avalanche. They clinched the spot after the Calgary Flames defeated the Los Angeles Kings later in the night. Finishing the season in the second wild card spot, they played the top-seeded Anaheim Ducks in the first round. In the first playoff series that involved a team from Winnipeg since the 1996 playoffs, the Ducks swept the Jets in four games. The season following their first playoff run was a disappointment, as the Jets finished 25th overall, well out of the playoffs. Management was forced to deal with expiring contracts of two star players, electing to sign Dustin Bifuglian to a five-year extension while trading team captain Andrew Ladd to the Chicago Blackhawks at the NHL trade deadline. Despite finishing with the sixth worst record in the league, the Jets managed to win the second overall pick in the 2016 NHL entry draft through the draft lottery, which they used to select Finnish prospect Patrick Lane. Later that summer, the team appointed Blake Wheeler as their new captain. In the 2017–18 season, the Jets clinched their second playoff spot since relocating from Atlanta. 
On March 25, 2018, the Jets beat the Nashville Predators 5–4 in a shootout, and clinched a spot in the 2018 Stanley Cup playoffs. On April 11, 2018, the Jets won the first playoff game in the history of the Atlanta – Winnipeg franchise when they defeated the Minnesota Wild 3–2. On April 20, 2018, the Jets won their first playoff series in franchise history and the first series victory in 31 years for the city with a 5–0 victory over the Minnesota Wild in Game 5 of the first round series, winning the series 4–1. On May 10, 2018, the Jets made further franchise history by advancing to the Western Conference Finals for the first time, defeating the Nashville Predators four games to three. Nashville were the defending holders of the Campbell Bowl Trophy from the previous season and holders of the President's Trophy for most points in the league during the 2017 18 NHL season. This would also mark the first time that either iteration of the Winnipeg Jets had advanced beyond the second round of the playoffs. Facing the Vegas Golden Knights in the Western Conference Finals, the Jets defeated the Golden Knights in the first game of the series 4–2. However, the Jets went on to lose the Western Conference Finals, with the Golden Knights defeating the Jets in the following four games in the series. Team information Jerseys <inaudible> 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 No new logo and colors for the Jets accompanied the team's nickname announcement at the 2011 NHL entry draft draft pick Mark Scheifele was presented with a generic black and silver NHL jersey and cap but True North confirmed that they were in the process of conceiving a logo and color scheme for the Jets, with True North's chairman, Mark Chipman, stating that the previous Jets' blue and red colors would be incorporated. The Jets unveiled their new logos and colors on July 22, 2011, three days before the team had scheduled to release them this after team merchandise containers were broken into and a crude picture of a Jets t-shirt made the rounds on the Internet, while blue and silver are the main color palette, the insignias are a dramatic departure from the previous Jets logos and pay homage to the Royal Canadian Air Force RCAF, particularly Winnipeg's 17 wing, the primary logo is patterned after the roundels used by the RCAF and includes a silhouette of a McDonnell Douglas CF-18 Hornet. Red is a secondary part of the color scheme due to a maple leaf, the incorporation of which came with the permission of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Game uniforms for the new Jets were unveiled in September at 17 Wing. The team did not introduce a third jersey for its inaugural season due to a limited timetable. The Jets kept their existing uniforms when Adidas took over production of NH. NHL uniforms in 2017. Prior to the 2018–19 season, the Jets introduced their first alternate uniform, featuring aviator blue as the base color, along with a new Jets wordmark, block letters and numbers, and striping inspired from the 1990–96 uniforms of the original Jets. The Jets also wore throwback white uniforms based on the 1973–1978 design worn by the original Jets. 
The Uniforms made its debut in the 2016 Heritage Classic and has been used during Jets Hall of Fame induction nights since. The logo was designed by Reebok, the NHL, and designer Linda Lynch. Reebok's lead uniform and team identity designers, Dominique Fillion and Linda Lynch, have been associated with the identity design, although True North has not revealed specific design credits. <laughs> Mascot True North announced they had recalled their former Moose mascot, Mickey Moose, from the AHL. Mickey had spent the past 15 seasons with the Manitoba Moose of the International and American Hockey Leagues, entertaining fans at Moose games and community events. Slight modifications to the costume were made, including a new vintage leather aviator helmet. Since the start of the 2015–16 season, Mickey Moose has served as mascot for both the Jets and the Manitoba Moose. A fan favorite, he also averages over 100 community appearances per season in Winnipeg and rural Manitoba. In the 2016 Heritage Classic, the current Jets resurrected their mascot from its original incarnation, Benny, and has since served as the team's secondary mascot. Traditions <laughs> 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 National Anthem Beginning in 2011, during the singing of O Canada, fans commonly shout the words True North in the line The True North Strong and Free to recognize True North sports and entertainment. Jennifer Hansen was the Jets' regular national anthem singer until 1996 and performed it again during the 2016 Heritage Classic alumni game. Stacy Natris has performed the anthems at the majority of home games since 2011. Topic: <laughs> Winnipeg Whiteout. The Winnipeg Whiteout is a hockey tradition that dates back to 1987 when fans of the original Jets franchise were asked to wear white clothing to home playoff games, creating a very intimidating effect and atmosphere. It was created as a response to the Sea of Red created by fans of the Calgary Flames, whom the Jets were facing in the first round of the 1987 Stanley Cup playoffs. The Jets eliminated the Flames in six games, and fans wore white for every home playoff game thereafter. Fans coined it the «whiteout». Fans of the former Jets AHL affiliate, the St. John's Icecaps, also continued this tradition, as did fans of the continuing franchise in Glendale, the Arizona Coyotes. It is referred to as the Ice Caps Whiteout and Coyotes Whiteout, respectively, by Ice Caps and Coyotes fans. The whiteout was also used, during the Canada vs. Russia gold medal game, at the 1999 World Junior Ice Hockey Championships, hosted by the city of Winnipeg. During the 2009 Calder Cup playoffs between the Manitoba Moose and the Hershey Bears, fans were asked to wear white for Game 6 of the Calder Cup Finals. The Winnipeg Jets resurrected this tradition when they qualified for the 2015 Stanley Cup playoffs. Topic: <laughs> Season by season record. 
For the full season by season history, see list of Winnipeg Jets seasons. Note GP. Topic: Games played W. Wins L. Topic: Losses OT. Overtime losses, PTs. Topic Points, GF. Goals for Gar equals goals against equals. Topic Players and personnel. equals 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 topic current roster equals equals updated april 17th 2019 equals equals topic Team captains equals equals Note this list does not include captains from the Atlanta Thrashers. Andrew Ladd, twenty eleven to twenty sixteen Blake Wheeler, twenty sixteen present. Topic Head coaches Note, this list does not include head coaches from the Atlanta Thrashers. Team and league honors Retired numbers The previous Winnipeg Jets organization retired the jersey numbers of two players, while their successors, the Arizona Coyotes, have retired the numbers of players who played for the former Jets as well. These numbers have not been officially retired by the current franchise. Upon relocation of the team in 2011, Evander Kane sought and received permission from Bobby Hull to wear number 9. The number had been retired by the previous Jets franchise. Kane had worn the number 9 during his time with the Thrashers, and the Jets organization encouraged him to keep the number. The Jets traded Kane to the Buffalo Sabres in February 2015. Andrew Kopp has worn the number 9 since 2015. Number 25, retired by the original Jets in honor of Thomas Steen, was worn for a short time by Paul Stastny, a close friend of Steen's son, Alex. Stastny has chose the number partly because of Steen. Zach Redmond and Brett McLean also wore the number during their time with the team. Brian Little switched from number 10, which he wore in Atlanta, to number 18 out of respect for Dale Howarchuk, who had worn number 10 with the original Jets. Number 11 has not been issued since the death of Rick Ripian prior to the 2011–12 season. The Jets wear stickers bearing the number on their helmets as part of the Project 11 initiative in support of mental health awareness. Number 37 was not issued by the Atlanta – Winnipeg franchise between 2003 and 2016 following the death of player Dan Snyder in 2003. 
Goaltender Connor Hellebike has worn the number since 2016, having received the blessing of the Snyder family. The NHL retired Wayne Gretzky's number 99 for all its member teams at the 2000 NHL All Star Game. Topic: <laughs> Winnipeg Jets Hall of Fame. The organization created Winnipeg Jets Hall of Fame in 2016 to honor the impact and accomplishments of the team's hockey legends and celebrate the rich history of professional hockey in the city. The inaugural inductees were the Hot Line, consisting of Anders Hedberg, Bobby Hull, and Ulf Nielsen, who were inducted on October 19, 2016. Dale Howarchuk was honored on November 14, 2017. Lars Erik Esjoberg and A. Flat McDonald were inducted on February 26, 2019. Both were captains of the team at key points of the original team's history, with the latter being the first ever captain for the team and the former being the first captain for the team upon joining the NHL. Topic: Franchise scoring leaders. These are the top 10 point goal and assist scorers in franchise history. Figures are updated after each completed NHL regular season. These records include those accrued during the team's time as the Atlanta Thrashers. Asterisk current Jets player note POs. Topic Position GP Games played G. Topic Goals A Assists PTs. Topic Points P G Points per game Topic Single season leaders Topic Broadcasters Bell Media holds regional television and radio rights to the Winnipeg Jets, under a 10-year contract that began in the inaugural season Jets games not shown by the league's national broadcast partner, Rogers Media, are televised by the Sports Network TSN on its regional channel TSN3 for viewers in the Jets' home region, which includes Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Nunavut, the Northwest Territories shared with the Calgary Flames and Edmonton Oilers outside of Manitoba, and parts of Northwestern on Ontario shared with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Viewers outside of the Jets' home region can view regional TSN3 broadcasts through a paid subscription for out-of-market games from the NHL or one of its broadcast partners. Dennis Bayek serves as the primary play-by-play -play voice for the Jets, calling games on TSN3. He is joined by either Kevin Sawyer or Ray Ferraro, who provide the color commentary, and rinkside reporter Sara Orleski. TSN 3 color commentary duties were formerly handled by Shane Needy, who moved to AT&T Sportsnet Rocky Mountain to cover the Vegas Golden Knights in 2017. Radio broadcasts are carried by local sports talk station TSN Radio 1290 CFRW. Paul Edmonds handles radio play-by-play -play duties radio alongside Brian Muntz
they are occasionally joined by Bayek, who takes over radio play-by-play -play when TSN3 is not involved in the television broadcast. Muntz also substitutes for Bayek on TSN3 when the latter is away on other assignments. See also List of Atlanta Thrashers – Winnipeg Jets general managers List of Winnipeg Jets draft picks List of Winnipeg Jets players <laughs>